Okay. Who is the users of accounting information? Well, the first user that we're going to look at is equity investor groups. So they're existing and potential shareholders. And why are shareholders interested in your business? Well, the first reason they're interested in your business, in your business is if they have already shares. All right? And they have bought those shares at a certain price. If those shares have gone up in value, they may possibly make a profit on their investment. If they've gone down in value, unfortunately, they will make a loss. And unfortunately, the current economic environment we're in, that's what most shareholders are finding themselves in. Now, there's also another interest that they have, and that's in relation to your dividends. How much are we paying in dividends to these existing shareholders? All right. You may have seen in some of the... Um, news items in relation to shareholders meetings, the amount of anger amongst, particularly amongst older uh, investors who have invested for an income in the retirement and they are no longer receiving dividends. Dividends being amounts that they had relied on as a source of income. Okay, potential shareholders are people who are thinking about investing in your business. Is this company that I want to be part or own part of? Loan creditor groups. Loan creditor groups. Why are loan creditor groups interested? Creditors are people who you owe money to. If you owe, you owe money to somebody, why are they interested in your business? They're interested in your ability to repay. Okay, they want.